Hey, it's Fun Around and my name is Jordan and I'm filming this one really late so I'm going to make it uh, pretty quick. Uh, you'll see images that come up on the screen. Those will be from a data app called Outlier. There will be a link in the description that will give you a seven day free trial for Outlier. This first pick that I have is a plus 100 play. Um, I think a lot of people have been playing the over on this uh, just because what they've seen recently. And it's uh, Kelly Olenek under two and a half turnovers. Um, he was going over the turnover mark uh, a lot, uh, pretty much automatic uh, with RJ Barrett and Emmanuel quickly out. Uh, what you see on the screen is all the games he has played with RJ Barrett and Emmanuel quickly on the floor. The Wizards are forcing the 11th fewest turnovers over the past couple of weeks. And Kelly Olenek had to become a distributor. He's a really good passer at the center position. And uh, with more passes comes more opportunities to turn the ball over. And that's what was happening. And people are still taking the over on his turnovers when he has gone over this one time playing with RJ Barrett and Emmanuel quickly on the floor. So it's a 92% hit rate on the under there. Um, so I really like this play um, at plus 100 uh, to get some even money on a single bet. If you guys could, please like the video. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. If you have a little bit of extra time, could you leave a comment for the algorithm? Um, this next pick is going to be Jabari Smith Jr. Over one and a half three-pointers made at minus 130. The Mavericks are kind of middle of the road for giving up three-pointers. Um, he's gone over this in eight out of the last 10 games and two out of three versus the Mavericks this season. He hit five three-pointers against them on, on March 31st. First, um, he's averaging eight and a half three-point attempts over the last five games. Uh, so we just need him to make two of eight. So he's definitely going to be putting them up there. Uh, we just need him to knock down just a couple of them. So I really like that play. And then this third pick, um, I don't know how to pronounce his first name, but uh, for the Hornets, the point guard, uh, Micic, over six and a half assists. The Thunder giving up the 10th most assists to the point guard position over the past two weeks. And they will be without Shea Gilgis Alexander and without Jalen Williams, um, the the better Jalen Williams, uh, uh, trying not to be disrespectful to the other Jalen Williams. He's gone over this in five straight games as well. He's averaging 15 potential assists, so we need him to get uh, about half of these uh, converted. And he's gone over in some really tough matchups. He's gone over against the Magic, the Celtics, the Clippers, and the Cavaliers. Those are all some pretty good defenses um, uh, to get some assists against, and he's been getting it done. So it should be a closer game. And a good opportunity here to, to rack up some assists like he has been doing. And then this fourth pick is going to be a first quarter play and it hit for us last time for some good plus money. Give me DeAndre Ayton over 0 0.5 first quarter assists at plus 129. He's gone over this in seven straight games and and he has gone over this against Boston on March 11th. So I really like the payout there. And then got to go with Gary Harris over 2.5 first quarter points at minus 105. Uh, the payout stays the same. And uh, he, he keeps getting it done. Um, eight out of the last 10 and 75% out of the last 20. This is one that you just keep single betting and uh he will it's going to be green over the long run so that's just a quick run through if you'd like to discuss lines further i have a discord link is in the description and if you would like to try some other apps other than prize picks um i'm partnered with some and there's links in the description with the promo codes for underdog sleeper chalkboard and parlay play uh promo codes find around 11 to get those deposit matches and also recap for the other video um evan mobley over 17 and a half points plus assist um he he was not very aggressive when it came to shooting the ball he got the assist done to make it even um but he just was not the volume was not there for him he did get in foul trouble early and got less minutes than he normally does um but even then he just wasn't being aggressive at all like he had been ever since he returned from injury if a guy goes six for seven over points um ever since returning from injury you you know it's a good bet to take it over but he just uh went under on that one in a good matchup um jalen johnson over seven and a half rebounds um the nuggets could not miss a shot uh they shot 60 percent from three-point range they just kept making shots and he ended up with six and he ended up with five less 
minutes than he normally plays. So if the Nuggets came down to earth just a little bit and he got his extra minutes, he probably gets his rebounds done. But just tough breaks with those two. Uh, Michael Porter Jr., um, four and a half first quarter points. That one's been money. Um, hit that. Jared Allen, five and a half first quarter points. That one's been money. He hit that. And then Darius Garland, over one and a half assists. I don't think he had his first assist like until near halftime. So um, two for three day, um, not not a profitable day. We've been having more good days than bad days as of late. So uh, uh, it's bound to happen every once in a while. Uh, but this will be a Sunday slate. So keep in mind some weird things may happen. Um, but good luck. Uh, I'm only making this video. I know I said I wasn't going to make Sunday videos, but I'm only making it because there's not going to be NBA on Monday uh, due to the college national championship. I'm guessing that's why they're not going to have it. Uh, so God bless you all. It's the final round. My name is Jordan. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.